position Let it take you back and forth Another jam that's gonna make you scream for more From New York, London to Amsterdam I wanna rock your body Hello, you're watching part two of this twin stick uh, top down shooter tutorial. Um, if you've not seen part one, the link will be in the description. I'll get you to the stage I'm at right now. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on with this uh, tutorial. So the first thing you're going to need to create an enemy is an object. Obviously, just whatever you want your enemy to be. I'm just going to use that circle here because it would take me a while if I was sitting here making like proper cool, awesome looking zombies like I have in my uh, shooter. You want to add a microchip onto this and the first thing you want to add to that is an uh, anti-gravity um, tweaker and make sure it's at 100 and you can leave the other two at 0, it doesn't really matter too much uh, the next thing you want to add is a look at rotator and this will make your object look at you wherever you go uh, you also want to add a mover to that so when you're tweaking this uh, look at rotator you want to make sure the acceleration is at 100 and then put the maximum detection range up to about a thousand just so it's getting a wide range and covering the whole kind of map area and if you find that it stops working then you can always make that bigger or smaller depending on how big your map is um, making it smaller will do anything but making it bigger is good and if you want to do a remote sensor or a remote control controller you're going to want to add a tag and then add a tag to your object but seeing as it's just you it's following I'm not going to leave that blank so it's you and it's not following a tag it's following you um, your mover, you want to put that to 1, the speed up to 1 if you put left and right, it'll go left and right, put it to up then it'll always be facing you and moving towards you at speed 1 and you also want to put it at a local area so that it, so as it turns it's always moving in the direction the object's facing um, so this will have you being followed by this little circle and as you can see right here, it can't be destroyed no matter what you do to it. You can bang into it, you can give it a little rape. Like that. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. The most that's going to happen is you're going to get aroused and that's just going to be embarrassing for everyone. So, we need to add a destroyer to this little bad boy here. It's down here in your object tweakers. Add that and then you're going to add... Or you're going to tweak it first. <laughs> you're going to tweak and you're going to make it splat. And just put it to all rigid connections as well, just in case you've got loads of objects attached to this. I don't know what your your enemy's going to look like. Um, you then want to add a impact sensor and attach that. You want to tweak it, all rigid connections. You want to put a tag and then just pick whatever color tag you want. doesn't really matter. I put it to green because I was using zombies. Uh, the rest doesn't matter. You then want to go in and get your ammunition that you made before so what's coming out of your object, what's firing at your enemies as you can see I've got a lot of stuff that I've um, created for other levels which aren't really published yet but they might be in the future so um, get your ammunition out and you want to open up the microchip and in this you want to add a sensor and you want to add the sensor that's the same colour as the sensor no you want the tag sorry you want to add the tag and make sure it's the same colour as the tag sensor that you uh, put on your zombie or your enemy. You then want to go and capture that so that it's in your bin and then you want to just delete that, just highlight it and hold and triangle and then go to your emitter that emits your object and pick it and just place it where you where you want to fire out of. So now it's going to fire your new ammunition that you just made, it's got the tag on it and hopefully as you crash into your zombie nothing will happen but when you shoot them that destroyer will take effect and splat your zombie to shit. There we go. So um, that's how you get your zombie to die. And so it doesn't die also when you just bang into it or when they bang into each other. Because you don't want that happening here. You have a zombie splatting just for being clumsy. And that's not so good. Um, the next thing you want to add is... Hold on here, I've got my notes. What am I doing? Okay, I'm showing you the spawn system here. I'm putting out Dark Matter just because I've not created a landscape here. Um, I'm assuming if you're making a level you'll have created a ground, like just flat ground for something for your zombies to walk on. Um, you place your emitters on that. I'm just putting them in this just now to show you. Um, I remember when I recorded this I placed like three emitters. Oh yeah, 
capture your enemy. That sounds like I'm giving you an order. Capture the enemy. Now you want to capture the enemy so that you can then use that to emit. Use your emitter to spawn the enemy. But remember when I was recording this, I placed like three and then I did delete the other two. So just place one and then edit it. Uh, tweak it and have your enemy spawn. Make sure it's on the right layer, like the bottom layer. And then you want to put the speed, the frequency to zero. Now if you, you could put it up to one or whatever and then just have the... I'll show you the spawn system in a minute. But it works at zero. You're also, you're also going to want your um, lifespan to be at uh, infinite. Sorry. So that it doesn't just blow up randomly halfway through the map, and put your max med up to like 100, and max med the ones to infinite, and uh, put the create effect to expand, so it looks like it's kind of growing out the ground, and uh, the rest don't really matter. And so as you see here, this is me deleting the other emitters, and I'm now just going to pick this one up, and then I'm going to clone it. You click in L3 to clone, and then stick it wherever you want. Obviously, if you've got ground, you've got more options to place your spawn points about. I'm going to create another piece of dark matter here, and to this, I'm going to attach a randomizer. Now, this is just so that your your enemies spawn at random. And this works just by, well, you stick it to one at a time, and the minimum of one time, I just put it to about, uh, like, 0 0.02, just so it, like, goes on for a second, and then, same with that, put it to the same, like, 0 0.02. Uh, 0 0.2 sorry <laughs> and then for your off time put it up to bit 1 you can change this to whatever you want if you want them to be spawned a lot more sporadically you can put it up to like 10 seconds and it'll just randomly do it like between that 10 seconds and stuff rather than uh, as quickly as I'm doing it um, and then just attach that and it should all work fine and then the next thing you want to do is you just want to attach the controller to the randomizer so that when you enter the controller it will automatically start the randomizer and start your enemies to spawn. So, as you see, the finished product is you and your little uh, weapon here, and these zombies spawning at random on this thing. <laughs> My little uh, dark matter there. So, um, yeah, that was the tutorial, guys. This is uh, part two. This is how you create enemies in your top down twin stick zombie shooter. Be sure to check out part one if you haven't already. And uh, part 3 will be up sometime within the next week. And I'll show you a lot more detail of how to create other exciting objects and stuff. So, um, bye!